Hi there. I'm going to do a slightly different video this time. I'm going to do a review of some props. Um, recently, uh, I got some of these. These are the blunt-nosed 6x45s from HQ Prop to try out on my Redback Tricopter. Normally, I run the standard um, 6x45s, um, but I thought I'd get the blunt nose a bit of a try just to see what they were like. And it was actually a very interesting comparison. If you look at the two props, zoom in a bit for you, um, side by side, it's really easy to see how different they actually are. Because the blunt nose prop is really a 7 inch prop with the moulds trimmed down to make a 6 inch prop. So you can see the blade is thick, um, there's no tapering at the end, the, um, the traditional 6 inch 4.5s um, are a very tapered blade rounded off. I've liked these props, these have been my favourite um, 250 size um, mini quad mini tri prop for a long time. Um, so, but yeah, thought I'd give these a go. Now, they're really different. Um, even the, a bit hard to see there, but even the center section is a lot thicker on them. They're a lot stiffer than those. And it's actually shocking how different they are in flight. Um, love these props, love the standard 6x45s. Um, they're nice, they're clean, they're responsive, I thought, until I put a set of these on. And suddenly, the throttle is about 50% well, more responsive. Um, it's hard to quantify, but um, they bite a lot harder. They're more aggressive, certainly a more aggressive prop. Um, the current loading on my motors is a lot higher. I'm actually uh, had to drop my flight timer by 30 seconds when I popped these props on. I had to down, but the most important thing is I had to drop all my PIDs uh, for these props. They're that much stiffer and they're that much more aggressive that um, my flight control was just grossly overgained running them compared to the standard six inch 4.5s. Um, so a very different prop. Um, interestingly, I didn't think I was getting that much more um, throttle response in a hover, just punching out of hovers with these, until I put those back on. Um, and it was really obvious how much more I was working the throttle to punch, to recover, for fast recoveries with these than with these. They've certainly got a lot more grab when you come back onto power. Than the smaller ones but yes i had to retune the pids so be careful if you go to if you do switch you will need to drop your pids what i've done on my flight controller is um, actually set up two profiles now so i've got a profile for the gentle props uh, prop profile for the aggro props and that's pretty much the difference in flying style with them i can cruise around nicely and gently and these are a good still a good prop uh, and everything's cooler and everything's nicer and i get longer flight times Pop these on, drops for flight times, everything on the airframe gets hotter. The motors are hotter, the ESCs are hotter, the LiPo is certainly a lot hotter when it lands. Everything's working a hell of a lot harder with these probes. But yet again, the response from them is so much better. It's it's chalk and cheese. These are the these are the Sunday qualif these are the Saturday qualifying tires and these are the Sunday race tires. I'll go further and go longer. These will um, get you there a lot quicker. It's probably the easiest way to sum it up. Thanks for watching, guys. See you online.